growing up, I was a part of a church that didn't really have a high value of scripture. On one Sunday service, uh, the pastor actually took the Bible and took it from the pulpit and threw it onto the ground and said, we give this book meaning and we give it the power. And it, it, it didn't really settle with me, so I, I took it upon myself to figure out if this was actually true or not. I started following Christ as a freshman in high school. I wanted to grow deeper in my faith, but never really had the foundation or even the knowledge of where to start. Some Sundays in my home church, the pastor would say things along the lines of, uh, this is where I believe the Bible got it wrong, and this really low view of scripture hindered my faith and my growth. It wasn't until my senior year of high school when I finally heard the Great Commission for the first time. It was such an eye-opening experience. I thought that people just shared their faith simply because it was the nice thing to do. I had no idea that Jesus had actually commanded his disciples to go and share the good news of the gospel. Even though I had heard this key scripture much later in my life, I believe God used it to call me to be a missionary. As I was deciding where to go to college, I wanted to make sure I went to a place that valued God's truth and God's word, and that would enable me and prepare me for missions. Through my university, I was able to take a trip to Africa for 21 days to preach the word of God to others. Upon returning home from that life-changing trip, my Sunday school leader asked me what gave me the authority to tell someone that their religion is wrong. And when I answered the Bible, it didn't seem like a valid answer to him. It was at that moment I realized that this was not the environment which I needed to grow further in my faith. It was after that I started bouncing from church to church, trying to find a community and a home. It wasn't until one of my friends invited me here, and one of the first things I saw when I walked through the door was the mission statement on the wall, and it clearly states that we are about living out God's truth. And I knew exactly what this church was about, and I knew the values that they held. This was exactly what I had been looking for, this community, this home. I've gotten involved in a Bible fellowship group where we discuss scripture and how it influences our lives. I'm involved in a college ministry that values and shares the Word of God, and I am so thankful for a pastor who preaches the Word of God every week and lives it out. What I have learned is that if we don't reach and raise the next generation with God's truth, we are only one generation away from being a completely unbiblical and ineffective church. The Bible has changed every aspect of my life, and I am so thankful to be a part of a church that believes in the power of God's Word and reaching the next generation. Thank you.